This week we're moving back to a larger park with more amenities, and Grizz is keeping a watchful eye on everything like he always does. This is our drone. It's kind of old. It's a Mavic Pro. It's one of the first iterations. And it's served us quite well. I could tell Chris was feeling pretty good by how he snuck up on and surprised me. He knows I'll get him back in a fun way. Out the helmet on this young lady. As we cross over the freeway, Grizz waves to all our viewers and subscribers. Um, good morning, everybody. Grizz and I are on our little walkabout. We're on his time right now. And we're just checking out the scenery. It's a beautiful fall morning here in Arizona. And at the park we're at, they have some beautiful walkways. Grizz, of course, naturally wants to stop and sniff everything. But that's his nature, and he's a good boy. Find lizards everywhere. I'm gonna say it's kind of bad when the street lights can't make up their minds whether they want to be on or off. But then again, look what's got us surrounded right now. We may be getting wet. We may have to call Mama. Come pick us up. Hi, huh, little man. A day or so after we set up, Chris came down with something that had him out of commission for a couple of days. He seemed to bounce back pretty well, but I'll have to keep a close eye on him just to make sure. Better believe me, I'll be talking to Dr. K. This is our drone. It's kind of old. It's a Mavic Pro. It's one of the first iterations. And it's served us quite well. We just don't want to spend the money now to buy a new one. And I was having a problem with this drone creating really unstable footage. And then I noticed that that motor, the left forward motor, was really sticky. When you go to turn it, 
you could feel it really rough. And at some points it would even catch and didn't want to turn. So I started looking and I found another one online. One that uh, would fit it. So I ordered it in. And this is what it looks like. It came in a package of two. One counterclockwise and one clockwise rotating loader. And the difference is amazing. So what I needed to do was take this motor off, correction, that motor off, and put the new one on. You have to be careful because they're counterclockwise and clockwise rotating propellers. So you got to get the right spinny one. And you can tell by the stripes on the top. And the completely dark one was the one that I needed. So I spent a couple hours taking this thing apart and trying to get that motor in. And by the time I was done, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't even start to fire up. And I was so frustrated. I thought I'd ruin the drone. Took a little bit of a rest. Went back at it about an hour later. <coughs> And this time, I ended up having to cut a part out of the arm right down in here so that I could access the wiring and then I could unscrew the drone motor from the bottom side, take the, uh, the leg off and then unscrew the motor from inside this way, snip the wires that run all the way back into here and then I could pull the motor off and then I could take the new one and I could run those wires back down into there, put it into position, screw it back on. Once I had it on, then I could take those wires and very carefully solder them into place again. Now, I don't know if I'd ended up having a cold solder joint or what when I first did it, but I was real careful to make sure my solders were good and that the heat shrink wasn't compromised on it. Put it all back together and we just took it back out and gave it a try <laughs> and it works <laughs> and it just saved us a whole bunch of money so all the little things you end up having to fix while you're out on the road who'd know it would be aircraft maintenance do enjoy having these visits with you every Sunday and hope to see you again next week.